one stock which is just surging and it's at the high point of the day today. In fact, it's trading at a 52-week high after reporting record bookings and collections in the fourth quarter. It's the DLF that I'm talking about. Sonal is here with the details. Sonal, the way the company's updates were looking, the projects, um, I don't think this comes as a surprise, but solid set. It is a solid set at a record high. The bookings this time around 8,458 crore rupees. And this compares with the quarterly average that we've been seeing to the tune of 2,000 to 2,500 crore rupees. Just look at the way uh, sales bookings have been rising, right? And this is largely led by new products. Company says 90% plus bookings this time around came in from new projects. And uh, uh, especially the luxury projects, the Arbor. Company did speak about uh, selling it at the launch time itself. And that can be seen in bookings as well. Apart from that, if you look at collections, they also came in at record high of 1929 crore rupees. And uh, the uh, good part is that net debt has also reduced uh, drastically to 729 crore rupees versus 2091 crore rupees on a sequential basis. Now, if we map the booking trend on an annual basis, in FY23, they have been able to do bookings of 15,058 crore rupees, which compares with around 7,200 crore rupees in FY22 and 3,000 crore rupees in FY21. So they have been consistently doubling their sales every year. Even in terms of launch pipeline, it has uh, seen a uh, multifold increase from 1.6 million square feet in FY21 to 10 million square feet in FY23 itself. And going forward as well, they have a positive outlook. Uh, the rental arm, that is DCCDL, also did well for the company. Uh, revenues were up 20%. Their EBITDA went up by 21%, leading to a profit growth of 37%. Uh, CLSA says that their pre-sales guidance of 11,000 to 12,000 crore rupees for FY24 is actually conservative. Uh, they have raised their pre-sale estimates by 21 and 14 percent for the next two financial years. And JP Morgan has an overweight uh, rating with a target price of 510 rupees per share, which is actually a raised target price. And the residential business, which is now debt-free, has happened in the first time in the last 15 years. That makes them positive on this particular stock. Okay, that is DLF 6.5% higher on that one. Sonal, thanks a lot for that. Another